Let's now create a sales order in SAP S4HANA using the Fiori Launchpad. First of all, we navigate to the application called Manage Sales Orders. Click on this one and we are forwarded to the initial screen for the sales order creation. Over here we could search for existing sales orders by including our filters and clicking on Go. However, we will now create a new sales order. Therefore, we click on Create. You can see we basically have two options here. We can either create a sales order via the function create sales order VA01 or create sales order via this button. We will do the latter one. The former one is actually nothing else than creating a sales order in the same way as we did back then in the GUI world with the transaction code VA01. However, we will now use the new way. So we click on create sales order. First of all, we are prompted to this little window where we need to include the sales order type, let's say OR. The sales order type will actually decide of a bunch of parameters for our sales order. Then we got the sales organization. So the sales organization is an organizational unit structuring our company code according to sales requirements. And it's responsible for the sales distribution of our goods and services. Then we have the distribution channel representing the channel through which saleable materials or services will reach our customers. And we have the division, which is an organizational unit based on the responsibility for sales or profits from our saleable materials or services. And then we click on create. Now we are forwarded to the main screen of our sales order creation. We need to include the sold to party to which customer we are actually selling the goods or services. We can include a customer reference, which is just a free text field. So for instance, this could be the purchase order number from the perspective of our customer. We have to request a delivery date. So when our customer expects us to deliver the goods, the document date, so the date when our document, in this case, our sales order document is stored in the system, the order reason. So why our customer actually ordered the goods or services. For instance, we could say here, that our good or service is offered for an excellent price. The customer group, which is used to classify our customer and is actually stored in the business partner master data. The shipping conditions, so how our goods should be shipped in the end. And the ship to party. As you can see over here, the ship to party is the same as the sold to party over here. But this does not necessarily have to be the case because it could be that our customer is a huge enterprise with a central purchasing organization, purchasing goods and services for different subsidiaries. Then it could be that the sold to party is the central purchasing organization and the ship to party would be one of the subsidiaries of our customer. Let's scroll further down. You can see in the advanced data section, we can store some IncoTerms information. So IncoTerms are globally accepted regulations for the international movement of goods. So we can define specific delivery agreements with our customer and thereby also set the obligations for the sales order. We can include the payment terms, which are used to determine specific discounts we can grant our customer if the customer pays in time. We can also set the payment method, so how the customer should actually pay us, for instance, with cash, a check, or a bank transfer. We can mark the sales order as complete delivery. If we mark the sales order as complete delivery, then this means that we do not expect to deliver anything else to our customer with regard to the sales order. Then we have the document currency and over here we got some pricing and billing information like the pricing date. So when the actual prices are calculated, the pricing procedure stemming from the customizing the customer price group to group our customers according to specific characteristics. Like if this customer is an occasional buyer or this customer could also be a regular buyer or bulk buyer. The billing date, this is actually the date which is used by our accounting in the system. And we can include even more organizational data like the sales office, sales group, and sales district if necessary. Further down, we can see the business partner partner functions. So actually in this case, our customer is the sold to party, also the party we are going to bill, as well as the payer and the party to whom we are going to ship the goods. So this is it for the general information. Now we actually need to include an item that we want to sell. So we click on items. And over here, let's include one product, let's say a bike. Let's say our customer requested 10 bikes. And then we can actually click here on this little icon and we are forwarded to the details on line item basis. We can see most of the information was filled automatically from the master record. So here we got the product group, our incoterms terms we have seen before, and over here, some more shipping information. 
like the plant and storage location. And further down, we can include some account assignment information like the profit center and WBS element. And we can see information about the weight and volume of the good we are about to sell. Then we got the delivery section. So here we could, for instance, assign a delivery priority. Let's say that this delivery has a high priority for us. We can also mark that partial deliveries for an item are allowed. And if they are allowed from the customer side, then we can include over here the number of partial deliveries. Further down, we can see the schedule lines, which basically summarizes our information, the business partners we have seen before. And then we can see here how the prices for our goods are calculated. Now, this is basically it. We can always include text information if necessary, and then we can click on apply. Before we post to the system, we always click on the incompleteness info to see whether this sales order has any errors or any information missing, but you can see it's fine. And also if necessary, we can always update price information or set delivery or billing blocks. But for now, this is fine. So we can click on create. You can now see that the sales order has been created successfully. It's always advisable to inspect the process flow. So click on this one. Yeah, and this is basically it. Now you can see the next steps. We would need to confirm quantities and then we can plan the delivery. This marks the end of this video. I hope you gained good knowledge. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time.